Okay, good morning everyone. Let me know if you can hear me. Back again today. Is everybody there? Give me a heads up. Great. So there's two things I rated today, Guild and the Z. And I think uh, the Guild looks better. So does anybody have anything else they want me to look at? TDW wasn't crazy about this. There's actually a lot of things, but they're very, very, very low volume. These things have volume. They're gapping down. Let's look at the market. And then let's go. Oh, I didn't do the numbers yet for guilds, so we can kind of do that together a little bit. All right. Galahad's here with me today. Again. Uh, market's neutral. I wouldn't count this as a down gap in the market. Market looks neutral, could pull in today. Let's look at the SPY. I just made myself a cup of coffee and I'm afraid to move it because it's gonna spill. <laughs> I have to go over like, <laughs> sip it like this. <laughs> I've been up since five. I need some caffeine. Or I won't make it past 10 a.m. All right, here, let's look at the SPY. <laughs> Anybody have anything else you want me to look at? Okay, definitely SPY looks like it might pull in a little bit today. All right, so that's interesting. So there's that. Q's, SPY, let's look at Z again. Z, I'm fine with you doing if you wanna watch it, but I think it looks better. PE, you want me to look at PE? Look at that. And then we gotta do the numbers for Guild. We only have 10 minutes. Uh, the Guild is probably gonna, uh, this is fine, you can rate it, but this isn't better than Guild. P is not better than Guild. MSI too thin, let's go look at the Guild. Let's do the numbers. All right, let's do it together. Right in the room, tell me what the targets are for Guild. And Philip, you can do this too. What are the tar what's the first target for Guild? I didn't do this as we're going through this today here. This is a class. We're learning what? What are the targets for guild today? Hello, am I talking to myself? 65.50? That's not the first target. We can write that down. It's definitely a target. That is very, very far away. Susanna says 66.55. Well, where are we right now? 67.85. Here's where we are. Where could this go? This could go all the way down here to $63. You want to talk about some big numbers. 65 looks like a reasonable target today in this. The target is, if you think the target's 67.65, I don't think you should be shorting this for 20 cents, Cayman Dude. So it's 65.54? 65.54. That's what Linda said, 65.50. You guys are both right. 63.44. Right, you guys are both right. But I also think 65 is very reasonable. So most likely, let's just say 65. Dream target, 63. 67, though, is the first target. 67, 65 can't be the first target, or we're not going to do this. If you think it's going to bounce there, there'd be no point. All right, so let's go and figure out the resistance. Now we we're talking about this yesterday. What about the resistance here? Here, I'm gonna write the targets in the room. You guys put the resistance. Targets, I'm writing them. I'm just repeating what everybody said. Philip, do you wanna say? What's the resistance in this? This won't be a uh, small stop. It will be a big stop again. It's going to be at least 50 cents. It could be a dollar. 70, Sue says 6871. <laughs> <laughs> that, it's, a, it's like point zero zero and three quarters of an inch. All right, here, let's. I don't know where you're getting that, but that was funny. All right, here, let's just look. So 
So, I mean, there's some, this is the thing here. So last night it closed before at 73.13, gap down this morning here, you know, this is probably, in an ideal world, here, listen, I'm going to say something really important. In an ideal world, it sets up exactly like what call it did yesterday. If it doesn't, it's going to possibly could reverse swoosh. In which case, we can't do it and we'll have to flip to something else. But I will tell you that in an ideal world, it sets up exactly like the one did yesterday. Because if it starts to rally, it could be a big, big rally. So we have to be careful with this. Here, it's rallying right now. Maybe we'll get lucky. I'll look at ACAM. Unfortunately, the, the, the real resistance here is quite far away from where it's at right now, but we are getting a rally. We are getting a rally here. I'll put this, I'll put the numbers that you guys put, but the problem is that it's far. I mean, it could go up to 70, and I'm not crazy about that if it does, except for it's rallying right now. Let's see. Uh, ACAM? Mm, ACAM, I didn't even see this this morning. ACAM, I didn't rate it. I didn't rate it. Did anybody rate it? If for some reason Guild opens in reverse swooshes, I still like Guild better than this, but this looks good. Maybe we should watch them both. What do you think? Here, wow. I don't have enough time to even do anything with this. Did anybody rate this? Philip, did you rate Gil uh, no, ACAM? No, no, I haven't either. What's the reason for this gap? Quickly, 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 somebody tell me. ACAM. Does anyone know? Oh, it's still too hot to drink. Uh, this is earnings. All right, here's what I'm going to do. Plan of action is guild up as a number one one. I'll put ACAM in the middle. I didn't rate it. It does look good, but it does not better than guild. I don't have a problem with guild. It is down a lot. I'm just telling that we can't do it if it reverse wishes. Got it? Any questions? Market could pull in today. In which case, the shorts are will be in play. Don't look for a deep pull in. That's never going to happen in a million years. Uh, how many people did Netflix? Write it in the room, quick. You and I are going to go over that alone later. How many people did Netflix? Netflix was the call I gave in the option letter this week. Couldn't have been any better. I almost went to the strike price the day after I gave it. That's insanity. Here, who did it? Sue did it. I, John, did it. Dubods did it. Did everybody do it? Good for you. Jaguar Paw didn't do it. I was shocked. Surprised. But Jaguar Paul did Google at a lower strike, which I didn't even look at. Let's quickly look. And he made money there. Let's look. Disney, I wouldn't do anything with. It looks like a piece of crap. It's nothing to short, and I wouldn't go long it, and it was a bust. It's not in play at all, and don't do anything of that, and it's nothing to be done in that one. Uh, this looks good, except for... Again, predictability of the time that it's going to get going here, the Google. That's the problem. And the market looks like it could pull in today. Amazon, I will go to quickly, is rallying ever since it gapped down in that earnings. Can you believe that? What a racket. Let's look at it. This stuff takes too long to load. Can you believe you can hear those sirens and the people in the street at 60 stories up? <laughs> we can hear somebody talking and ordering a, a sandwich from 60 stories up. Can you believe that? The, it's, the, it's the echoing on the buildings. To hear those sirens like that. They're, pro, they're not nowhere near here either. That's hilarious. Here, there's Amazon. All right, let's watch Guild. Guild up. I'll have ACAM in the middle for those of you that want to get nuts. You can do them both. Any questions? If one of them does a swoosh, then we'll just flip to the swoosh one. But I don't think that's going to necessarily happen today. Everything today is going to have a big stop. Everything is going to have a big stop. I don't know which one here is going to be the best one to do, so I have them both up. Because for, for some reason, the guild reverse swooshes. Oh, that just got to drop. Oh, that just dropped right there. Hold on. Now, that, look at that. It's at 66.25. I'll 
look, everything's strapping. All right, let's just watch the main one here I have. Look, it's dropping. It's dropping right now. Gosh, are my clocks wrong? 928, look at how that, both those things just fell. Are you watching this? Mm -hmm. That one just fell, they're both just fell. Like, look at them. But this one has the volume in it. <laughs> they're both gonna be big stops. I'd say size yourself for a buck, 80 cents to a buck in either one. This really could go to $63 today. I'm talking about Guild. ACAM I have up in the middle. If that drops today, I think it does not drop massively. Guild is the one today to watch the top pick and could have a massive, massive drop. But it could open a reverse swoosh, so I'm just letting you know. I wouldn't jump the gun in any of these things today, and everybody should get filled. And we'll see if you get filled today quickly what happens. All right, good luck, everyone. These just happen to be expensive stocks and they're also spready, so it's just the name of the game right now. Here. <sighs> I think they're both gonna work. Just focus on one. I just focus on one here. <laughs> You know what? Screw it. We're going to ACAM. Look at that bar. Here, we're going to ACAM. It just swooshed. Move to ACAM. Flip to ACAM right now. Flip it, flip it, flip it. Wow. I said we're going to play it by ear here, but they're both probably going to work. In fact, I can have Guild up here in the middle. I'll call them both, but I just switched everything out. I put Guild in the middle, and I put ACAM as the main watch. They're both going to work. Look at it. They're both going to work. 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 I wouldn't do this. Let's do the swoosh entry on ACAM. Just wait. Here. Guild just hit. Put the stop over the high. Put it at 67.50 if you're in it. Wow. There's the dollar stop in Guild. Let's wait for ACAM here. In fact, I'm just going to take this off. Let's not get distracted. This open and swoosh, so let's stay with the ACAM. But I got to be honest with you. They're both going to work. You could, you could be in that Guild right now. This is a split second decision here. Okay, I don't have any entry in this. I don't have anything at all. No one should be in it yet. Let's see what this did. Here, this is going. This is going. It, it, this is a big stop too. So if you're in Guild, you can be in it. I would put the stop at 67.50. I think let's go with the ACAM. Because of the fact that it opened and swooshed, let's see, and do everything right today. I never thought that would happen, though. Okay. Very spready. Look at that. And no one should be in this yet. Nothing's happened. This is going to be a big stop, too. I would size yourself for at least a dollar. This is ACAM now, short. If you did Guild, you did it on your own. 49 by 66.70. There, it just hit. 49 by 66.70, you can do it. 49 by 66.70, ACAM, you can do it. So just put the stop over the high. Just put it at 66.70. Oh my gosh, you're not going to fill again. Is that, you weren't sitting there or are you in? Oh, you are filled. Put the stop at 66.70. And if it gives another entry, we're going to do it. If it gives another entry, which it might, we're going to do it and we'll lower the stop. But for now, take it and put the stop at 66.70. This is ACAM. It's, it's going to give another entry. Is everybody in it? 
Yeah, eight cams of one here. Let me help fill up. Is everyone in it? Write it in the room. Where did you get that? Here it goes. Here, I did that. Well, I'll, we'll go over when we're done why I called it there. I just had a feeling because I really just, is everybody in it? It may not give another entry and there was a reason I called it there. Susanna is out with a profit of $850 already? Where did you do it? Journey woman didn't get it. Journey woman, just, you could do it right here and just put the stop over the high. I, I don't know if it's gonna give another entry. There's a reason I made the call. We'll go over when we're done. Here, here, here. I didn't even figure out targets for this. Here, listening to me listen <laughs> when your goal is in for the day don't get out right now it's gonna drop again but I'm, I'm saying I, I know well the chart was bouncing I wasn't watching my chart and your charts aren't as nice as mine but I'm saying to you that that was the first exit and your goal was yes. up for the day yes. so what, what are you gonna do you're gonna wait till it breaks down again now I will, yes. yes okay but really you should have gotten out of that is what I'm saying Okay, here it goes. Here it goes, and don't let this get away from you. Here, let's see if we can get that. 64. 64 is the next number. This is live, and <laughs> Galahad likes to watch himself make money and then have it go away from him. Here, under 64. <laughs> here, under 64. Right, so now it's because you can move from here, can't you? But it's going to bounce like the last time it did. See, it's bouncing again. You're at 570, now you're at 465. You know, this is why you have to act fast. Susanna made $830. Here, it's going to break again. Don't wait till it bounces against you with this. It's too, it's, it's too oh. crazy. You're out? Yes. How much did you make? 480. 480 is good. Perfect. Okay, Galahad's out. <laughs> Thank God. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Here it goes. Here it goes. If you're still in at 64. Wow, we'll go over this. I had a feeling here, here it's still going, but I had a feeling that it wasn't gonna give a secondary entry then. That's why I called it the way I did. And it was a big stop. Here, if you're still in it, your hand should be in the button. 6350 is the next number. Look at that, here it goes. Where'd you get filled? Where'd you get out? 6434. That's fine, that's absolutely fine. If anyone is in this, I would get out of this here right now. 9.36 and it's gonna bounce. It's fallen straight since it opened. I'd get out of it though. I really, really would. It did continue. We're gonna we're gonna go over this. We're gonna talk about this. I but know, we're I, gonna, know, I, 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 I know it was still going. It was still going, but here's the thing. This is what we were talking about yesterday, and we're gonna talk about this today, and we're gonna talk about the Netflix. It's why are you why are you giving away so much money just to make a little bit more? It doesn't matter when your goal's in. If you have a thousand dollars in that, would I have screen to take it? No, you wouldn't. I would have taken it. I don't believe you, because you're up a thousand dollars yesterday, Netflix, and you didn't get out of it. I'm trying to help you yes. make yes. money. No, now I you, would. That's a, you, every day this week you've made five hundred bucks approximately, but you could have made more, which we'll talk about later with the Netflix one. But the point is, though, why it's not? You're not even a greedy person. That's no, what I'm trying to understand. No, no. What's going on in your mind? I'm trying to assess the situation. The situation is it's stopping, but it's going to bounce. The situation is nothing. You just took a great trade. You just I mean, made Netflix, money. Netflix, Netflix, you know. I know. We're going to talk about Netflix. Netflix here. This is still going. But honestly, I think everybody should be out. Netflix is a whole different thing, which we don't. We're going to talk about that after we close out of the room. Here. Is everybody still in this or out? Here was a secondary entry. I actually didn't call it, but this, is, this was a second entry here at 935. 
Wow, look at that. Is any, yeah, everyone should be out, I think. It's gonna bounce. And it went to every target massively. And it's probably gonna set up again. You could play this all day, I think. Is anyone still in it? New York City Bob, Shorty, Guild, and ACAM. Callahan needs a drink and a cigarette after this. I, <laughs> I'm trying to help Galahad make money, which he does, but he doesn't exit the trade <laughs> until after it reverses. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Romy is still in ACAM trailing. See, here's the thing. Why does it, I'm, I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna talk out loud and I'm saying this for the benefit of Galahad here. Honestly, honestly, if you could have made another $500 today, that's great, but what if the trade would have reversed against you? I'm just being yes, plain devil's advocate. Okay. No, if it had, and it would have, that would have been the end of it, and you would have only made $150, and you had your goal in for the day, and then you only would have made $150, wouldn't you have been upset? No, not one loss. No. It's not a loss. I'm saying if you would have booked $150. Well, yes. I'm but saying it's a swoosh, isn't it? It's gone. It is a swoosh, but I that was not a proper swoosh entry. Right, I I'm going to go over that yes. why I called that the way I did. But I'm saying to you, yeah, I'm just trying to say to you that you've got to make your goals. You are making your goals, but you're but I'm not sitting next to you every day screaming at you to get out. That's insane. You have to be by yourself and get out when your goal is in. And you are making your goals. Yes. You're beating yourself over your head, but you're making your goals. You're just not exiting the trades. You're making your goals. You're making money in most of these trades, but you're not getting out. You're, you're actually probably exceeding your goals, except for you don't get out. Yes, I am. Yeah. I, I, I'm just, this is what we're going to go over even on Monday night when, when Sarah comes. We're going to talk about money because I'm just trying to get in your head and figure out why. It does not matter. It doesn't matter if you could have made another $500 on this today. What would have mattered is if you would have lost in this trade or had your goal in for the day and not made it. Then what would you have done? You would have been upset with yourself. I would have been upset with myself. Well, yes, you are, right? You, you, know, you get there and you think, why did I take it? But it's... It's always a constant battle with yourself, though, isn't it? Then you gotta let it go. That's what I'm telling you. You gotta just, just stop. You're overthinking it. You're too much in your head. Mm -hmm. Be in the moment. In the moment, I'm, am looking, I'm looking here. I don't even, I'm not looking at the chart. I'm saying, oh, there you are. You got money. Take it out. Yes. Yes. And if I had seen the money you're up on Netflix yesterday, I would have said, take it. But I wasn't sitting next to you to see it. So that's what I mean. Why do I have to say take it? That's what I'm saying. Anyways, this is good for all you people. But the bottom line is, yeah, nice trade. Thank you. You play the options? Who did the options? Here, this is the probably the exit for the morning. 63.22 and crazy. Oh, let's go over this for everybody. But this is, you know, some of you are doing extremely well with everything. Options, day trading, everything. Some of you are new and making your goals every day because you have very low goals and low expectations, so you're making them. The point is some of you have such high expectations that you're holding trades too long to have massive winners in every one. Now, was this a huge winner? The answer is yes. But if you had your goal in for the day and it starts to back up and bounces like, like this did in here, what if it had been the low of the day? It wasn't, but what if it had? And that's the point that I'm trying to make for those of you that are not making your daily goals. If you're making your daily goals, do whatever you want. As long as you keep doing good, great. But if you're not, you gotta get a handle on it. That's the, that's the point. You know what I'm saying? If, you, if you're meeting or exceeding your goals every day, I don't care what you do. Do 10 things, do everything that rates. But if you're not, then you gotta get a handle on why. And what I think the only problem that you have is you're just not getting out. <laughs> just such an easy correction. And you did, you made your goal today. Now you've made money every day you're here. That's fantastic. Okay, here, Incam. You could put this stop over 63.80 if you're still in it, but I think everybody's out. You made $830 in 45 seconds. Susanna, you must have jumped the gun here. You must, you had to have jumped the gun a little bit. Did you? Be honest. It's fantastic. Yeah. That, she did. Well, at least she copped to it. Well yeah. So Susanna's goal is $1,000 a week. So she almost made her goal for the week in today's trade. So what are you going to do the rest of the week, Susanna? What are you going to do tomorrow? What are you going to do Friday? 
you're going to be very, very careful. Follow my call. Yeah. <laughs> follow the, follow the Madam President. Okay, let's look at this here. All right, this open and swooshed. So here we have it. High the day was 66.59, low was 63.22. I do think this could continue, but I don't think anyone should do any other trades if you made money today and if your goal for the day is in. Why did I do this? This really wasn't the correct swoosh entry. In fact, we saw this and I had it up with a secondary watch, but then there it was, it was there, it, was, it did it, it swooshed, it was great, it was fabulous. And then I saw this one bar and I thought, holy crap, this is probably gonna just collapse. And the volume of the morning here was not so significant that I thought that this would have the proper then rally because you only get the pushback if you have shorts covering. So then that's what made me do it. So I thought, screw it. And then I called it and, and the stop had to be over the high. So that's why I did it. And I was right, look at that. Although this did give another entry here because you didn't have enough people. Let me look. You didn't, you, like you don't have people short the stock in here to cover. Look at that. So you don't really have a lot of shorts in the morning. The stock also is in, a, is in an uptrend, so you don't have people really short the stock for the longer term trend. So I, I, that is why I called that there. That was a great eye. That was just off the cuff. Well, I would never do that without me directing you. But I didn't see it having the pushback or the green because no one was going to buy it. Not the way that it opened, not the way that it got down, and then you didn't have the short coverage, so how are we ready to get the green? When this in here then is some people that did short it, which some of which you know everybody in the room did. So I, that was a good call, but don't ever do that alone without me. But I gave it a wide stop for the purposes of the fact that in case it did bounce back in here. So that's why I did it. So did anyone at all hold this this long? If you actually held it down, it did move, you know, two dollars and seventy-five cents. So this was almost a three hour trade even with that massive stop, but this was a scary bounce in here. Here, let's go back. Here, this could set up again. Anyways, this is a scary bounce in here. And this is what I was screaming at Philip. I couldn't really see the chart. I, don't, I think this was the minute I was telling him to take it, but then it dropped again and then he took it somewhere in here. There you have it. So I would leave it be. I would leave this be. I wouldn't, I wouldn't go back in this again right now. Does anyone have any questions? Everyone should be up great money today. Did anyone not do this? Discipline do trail it down to 63.30. That's great. Right in the one. I want to see what's the most amount of money that anybody made in this today. It was a big stop. I want to see some big numbers here. Someone should have made a lot of money in this. I'm not gonna make another official call in here. Chief had a good day, 590 bucks. Market is Ren. Whatever happened to Tiva yesterday? Pyro 565 in Guild. Chinchilla 520. Sue made 1500 plus 500. What two things did you do besides the Guild? Some of you people are doing amazingly well. Here, Tiva. Tiva worked yesterday when and is still going today, Tiva. Did anyone do that yesterday? It worked. It continued. It went. It's still going today. Tiva. Continuation watch, Tiva. Let's look at what Disney did. Sue, what all did you do that you made two grand today? Uh, let's go back to the ACAM. Wow, look at this. I didn't want to call another entry in this right away, but look, it's still going. Look at this. It's insane. I was almost going to call a kamikaze here, but why call a kamikaze when everybody just did a good trade? Look, it's still going. What's the biggest bar in this chart? Let's see. Four dollars. Four dollars. Uh, it's not there yet. This is pretty much just collapsing off the planet. Look at that, it just broke 63. Wow, we've seen more swishes in the last six weeks since the beginning of 2017. I've lost count. I've lost count. Three, four, five? In six weeks' time, less than that, we've seen so much. We've seen more swishes than I've seen 
the last quarter of the end of the quarter earnings season of 2016. Everything's swishing. That's amazing to me. Boy, but you never know when it's going to happen. You just never know. My top watch today was Z. What did it do? This still did work. You could have done it. You could have done it. You could have made money. It wasn't a crazy stop. Where did it go? This was a good move in here. This was better. You could have done that. Did anybody do the guild? Oh, Sue did the Sue did the uh, guild in the A camp, but Z was good. I don't think I would have done anything with this, but this did work. It's working. Look, even guild help. All right, let's go over any questions anyone has about A camp. Ask me right now. We'll look at tonight. This is still going. I think I think the thing I'm I, I'm trying to convey to to Philip and uh, and I'm going to talk to him alone about it today is that if your goal is in for the day, then then what do you do if the stock backs up? If the stock backs up and you're going here, I'm talking to you, Philip. If your stock backs up yes. and you're you have your goal in for the day, then you're chancing it. This is where the chance comes involved, where it's a it's a it's it's chance. It's chance. When I when I call Netflix and say it's going to go to 145 within the next month, it, it goes within, almost runs up into the strike the day after I call it. It's chance. Chance that you don't get out of it. It's the same thing with Apple. If you don't get out of Apple and I call it in the morning, it goes through the strike and I still give two weeks, you're, it's chance. You're risking, you're risking chance and too many variables that it will go back there or look better. It's chance. You're... When, when you look at this like it's something that you're doing for the consistency and your goal is in or it's exceeded your goal, then, then, then not getting out is taking too much chance. It's taking too much risk. You are, you, you're, you're capable of taking the risk. It's almost like you're, you're taking the risk. It's based on the system and you're taking the risk. This is still going, but it doesn't matter. You're taking the risk that's then it's based on chance. It's, it's like you're chancing it. It's like the election. It's like it's like the election. Like everyone's like, oh, Hillary's gonna win. Hillary's gonna win. She's gonna win. She's gonna win. She's gonna win. The futures are down huge at eleven o'clock at nine Eastern time, and then all of a sudden they're no, they're down a baby down when the market opens, and lo and behold, at two forty-five in the morning, Trump wins. So it's chance. It's like you have you go through the system and you play the system out, and it works for you, and you make money. But then you're you're rolling the dice. You're rolling the dice, playing the odds that it's going to go in your favor when it already has. It already has gone in your favor because you're up. You made your goal. You're you're actually every time we talk about this, you say I'm a risk taker, and you are. But you're actually taking risk that is not calculated risk then because you're betting the farm on chance, like going to the roulette wheel. No, I'm not. I'm not betting the farm. Yes, you are. You're rolling no. black or red no, that I, this I is going to keep going or I not when your goal's in. I will risk. A set amount. You're willing to risk the amount. I'm to, willing, you're willing to, to lose, lose the risk amount. Yes. That's why you're taking the trade. You shouldn't want to lose. You shouldn't say no, no, no. you're going to lose. I never, risk the I, never, million dollars. I never enter a position expecting to lose. Yes. I'm always expecting to win. Yes, and you do. Granted, there right. are times when it doesn't win. Yes, I know, but I'm saying. It's that acceptance. Right, but I'm saying that you're, you're, I'm trying to get in your head and figure out why you're doing this. And what I'm saying to you is, you're going beyond risk where you're taking chance. It's not based on something that's predictable. What I do is based on a level of predictability. It doesn't work all the time, but it's based on a level of predictability. You're taking chance, and that's what you're leading with, the chance. You're going beyond risk. You're rolling the roulette wheel every time and saying, I'm gonna take Apple the next day, even though I went through the strike, and I'm gonna hold it up until two days, you know, you're just, your thought process is, is based on chance, not the level of predictability that I do. I predict it. If it goes in my favor, then you get out and you predict it right and you say, fine. The longer you go holding something, the level of predictability becomes less. Yes. That's what it is. Like the market's dropping today, and I'm not saying this is why this is still going, but it's definitely not working against it. The market's red. That is not why this opened in swoosh, but it could be why it's at 62.25. You saw in Tom Brady's conviction in his face after the Falcons fumble and you knew the Patriots were gonna win. Now this is a very good point. 
listen, I don't know anything about football at all. But the, the interesting thing is I did stay up and watch that game. I, I stayed up to see that they made the overtime. I fell asleep at the end. So I didn't see them make a touchdown. But you know what? As soon as they went into overtime, I knew they were going to win. I knew, as soon as they caught up and pushed into overtime, I knew the Patriots would win. Why? Does anyone want to guess? Why? I mean, why would I? Uh, Suzanne is agreeing with me. She's saying it. She's bringing it up. I didn't talk about this on Monday. I could have. No, Monday wasn't here. I knew then they'd win because there was nothing stopping him. They were going to win, and that was it. They made up their mind to win. They came back from being down huge. Why they let themselves get down, that's who knows. But they made up their mind they were going to win. There was nothing stopping them. But it's the point that you have to have in your mind that you're going to win. In your mind, you're willing to take the risk, but the market is letting you win, and you're not taking it. So you're almost saying to the market that you're, you're willing to take it by chance. It's not going to go in your favor more than it's not by doing that. I don't even know if what I'm trying to say is making any sense. The gambling thing is, is really a good, a good perspective for you. I don't feel that way about trading, but it is kind of how you're looking at it. No, I don't. I don't consider trading gambling. Not when you take it. When you decide to take the profits. It's a calculated risk. It is, but when... High probability trade. Yes, why don't you get out when you're up? At the back of my mind, I suppose I'm, I have a, instilled the, the risk amount, so I expect to make more than the risk amount. But who cares? You would rather lose? I wouldn't say would rather lose, no. But that's exactly what's happening, and could have happened today. It could have happened today. I watched you be up in the trade over 500 bucks. It pulled back. We saw it in a couple seconds. You were only up 200. And then I screamed at you to take it after it dropped again, which you did, luckily. Now, it kept going. But I would have felt horrible if I had my going for the day and then lost half of it. You wouldn't have? Rumi is breaking the rules but just cashed out of A. Kim and Gail breathing normally now. <laughs> <laughs> but as I'm lecturing Philip here, Rumi is risking the farm to try to hold A. Kim to zero, apparently, or 60, I guess. I don't know. No, Philip's doing great. Uh, I'm just trying to help him make more. Tweaking the position. Yeah, here, here's what I'm saying. The only, the, how do you make more? You risk more in size. And you risk more money. Yes. So you got to get to that get point. Get out faster. Yeah. Yes. I think that what you need to do is be consistent yes. with getting in and out. And then you can go back to risking what you were previously. Yes. So like if you were up $1,000 in that today, again, going back to yesterday, would you have gotten out if you were alone? If you'd taken more size? Yes. I don't, I don't know if I believe you because you didn't yesterday. <laughs> <laughs> I wasn't watching it yesterday. Yes, you were. You sat, looked at it and said, how much you have on Netflix? You're up $1,000 you didn't even tell me. I glanced at it and it was an option trade, which I expect. But you're up $1,000. Going... Yes, I know. But I expected the option position because the options I class differently to the day trade. All right, that's what we're going to talk about here when we get out of the room. But it's a point I'm trying to make. I don't know what you, I don't know what you, I don't know what you want from this because it's giving it to you. The system's giving it to you. I'm giving you the trades. I'm feeding these. I'm just feeding these trades to people now. I'm just spoon feeding them like a, like a chocolate. <laughs> All you have to do is take it, and when I scream to get out, you just get out of it. Don't argue with me. Yes, I'll have a chocolate. <laughs> All right. Does anybody have any other questions? This is still going. I don't want anyone to feel badly if it's still going, and it probably could go to gosh knows where. But the point is, if you have your goal and for the day, you should be happy. Is anyone on the planet even still in this? Bob wants to know if you play poker. <laughs> I don't, I don't know. <laughs> he wants to know if you do. No. But does any? This is the. I'm talking to you guys now, and not Philip. And I'll talk to him more later. But do you under, listen? Did you hear what I said about chance? When the 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 risk is that you're taking the risk to take a trade at all. Otherwise, if you're not prepared to take risk, you shouldn't trade. Okay. But the risk is that you're taking it, but it's a calculated risk based on the system where you rated the gap and the gap today. I didn't even rate this, actually. I didn't even rate this. I'm realizing it now. We played it based on the swoosh. I didn't rate it. I played it based on the swoosh. But the point was that you follow the system. You rate it. You see the entry. It swooshes. You take it. You do it. But then when you're up, if you don't get out, there's an element of chance of 
unpredictability, which is what? Is it going to go to past the first target? Is it going to go to the target at all? Is it going to go to the dream target? Am I going to have the market with you? What time is it going to bounce? Is it going to bounce and go back down again? So all of these variables, no, no, no human being could possibly predict. So you have so many different variables and they are ever changing. So you can have a system where you say, I get out of every trade every day at 10 o'clock Eastern time, okay, which would be right now, which you know dropped $2 since that last exit. But what if this had fallen and then bounced and never and made the low of the day at 9.35, 9.40, and then flipped over the high by 10 o'clock? So you have to watch it in live time, but it's an element of chance. If you're up your goal for the day and it bounces and you start giving profits back if you don't get out. It's not that you have to get out of the whole thing. You could have gotten out of half, but again, if your whole goal is in for the day, just get out of the whole thing. That's how I've been doing it. I mean, you guys know that now from even last year in 2016 and even in 2017. I, I, I've talked about this the other day. It's not so much about the R's. It's about the consistency of the wins. And guess what? My thinking isn't flawed. Look how, look, I can't, I mean, I've called two bad trades in the last three weeks. So I'm focusing on getting it right and seeing it. And then it doesn't matter where it keeps going. Do you know what I'm saying? Does anybody have any questions? Yeah. I know Rumi signed up for the class but hasn't done it yet, but he signed up like a month ago. Okay, let me just look here and see what's out for the night. Just uh, stay with me here. Oh, my, my mouse is uh, frozen. Shoot, it's because I have too many screens up. My mouse froze, you guys. I'm not gonna be able to look up what's out for tonight. In fact, I may lose the screen. Does anyone have any other questions? I'm, I don't have control of the mouse. I think it's because I have too many things up. Let me see if I can grab it again. No, nope, I lost the mouse. Listen, you can only hear me. Does anyone have any questions? Good job today. I think everyone should be done, but if this rallies back, you can retake it. Think about the things that I'm saying here. You, you got you to follow the system, which everybody does, but it, you, know, you don't want to take chances that you shouldn't take. Okay? At least if you're not doing this where, you, where you're relying on the money. But even if you're not relying on the money, it's still the point. It's still the point. It's still the point, even if you're not relying on the money, it's still the point that why do that? Why stress yourself out with that? I guess this is... You know, the longer I'm doing this, I'm like, why stress myself out? That's what we were talking about yesterday about the options. We'll talk about that. And I did say that in the room earlier in the year. Why stress yourself out? Uh, it took you one week to overcome your fear you did not trade last week after you had one losing trade, but all is good now? All right, Susanna. You mean the UA that didn't work last Tuesday? You didn't trade the whole rest of the week after that because of the one loss? That's all in your head. Listen, does anyone have any other questions? I lost control of my mouse here. I may have to reboot and I don't want to do that and keep everybody in here. But everyone should have had a great day. I don't think it mattered where you got out. And I did a great job calling that. It did have... It did have a second entry, but I the entry that I gave the first entry there was the higher price. You're ahead, very good. Susanna, you made your goal almost for the week. In fact, you did make it for the week already because of the fact that you were up yesterday too. Rumi said a great day indeed. How much money did you make today, Rumi? Rumi, you've, you've already exceeded more money than the class cost in the last two weeks. How much money did you make today, Rumi? you haven't even done it yet. See, these are the things that I want to hear from people. Some of you swing a heavy bat, though. Rumi, how much money did you make? Sue made 1500 I don't know if you beat Sue. Oh, 1350 You were conservative. <laughs> yeah, that's very conservative. I, John, you made $75? Is that all you made today? Oh, 7,000. 
You're just saying that. Oh, 705. <laughs> 7,000? <000. laughs> you did risk the farm. Oh, it's a swoosh. I think I'll take 7,000 shares. <laughs> all right, listen, you guys. Let, we're on a roll. Let's just keep doing what we're doing. It's all good. Congratulations for those of you that did the Netflix option. Excellent day. Thank you, Mountain Girl. I'll see you back in here tomorrow morning bright and early. These are days you want to be here. All right. I'll see everybody tomorrow. You're welcome. I lost control of my mouse. I don't know if I'm going to be able to turn it out. There. Okay. So, bottom.